Here are some examples to practice solving problems involving constant angular acceleration. The kinematic equations for constant angular acceleration involve time, angular position, angular velocity, and angular acceleration. The form of these equations is very similar to their linear counterparts, except you substitute in the angular variables instead. Only use these equations if it is known or can be assumed that angular acceleration is constant. If it is not, then you must not use these equations, but rather return to the original definitions relating the kinematic variables. The angular variables can be related to their linear counterparts if no slip conditions apply. The strategy to solve problems involving constant angular acceleration involve the following steps. Read the problem for the relevant variables. Draw a diagram and set up your coordinate system to keep track of the variables and their direction. You may need to make conversions of units or apply no slip conditions. Select from the angular kinematic equations based on what is unknown and what is given. Solve the equation or equations for the unknown and plug in with units. Sometimes you need additional unit conversions and reapplication of the no slip condition. Don't forget to check your answer by rereading the problem and looking at your picture. In the first example, we are to calculate the angular acceleration of a rotating turntable. Read the problem for the kinematic variables, draw the picture, and set up your coordinate system. Convert units, if necessary, for later calculations. Select from the kinematic equations based on what is being asked for. and what is already known.
solve the equation for the unknown and plug in with units. Reread the problem and check that your answer is sensible. In this example, where the turntable is slowing down its rotation, we expect the angular acceleration to have the opposite sign to the initial angular velocity. In the second example, we are to examine the rotation of a wheel that is spinning up. Read the problem for kinematic variables, including ones given verbally rather than numerically. Take note of additional vocabulary involving rotations, such as RPM, which stands for rotations per minute. Declare your coordinate system. Convert units as necessary. Select the equation for your unknown. Normally, we would use this second equation to solve this problem. However, Angular acceleration is also unknown. We will solve for it first using the first equation. Rearrange and plug in with units. We are now ready to plug in to our previously selected equation. Notice once you reduce the number of unknowns, you may have additional choice in the selection. Solve for the unknown and plug in with units. Reread the problem to check you have answered the question. In this case, you must convert your result back using a unit conversion. In the third example, we are to calculate the time it takes for a car to accelerate to highway speed, knowing details of its wheels.
read the problem for all given quantities and highlight the unknown. Draw a picture and set up your coordinate system. In this problem, there are multiple unit conversions you must perform and you must also apply the no-slip condition. Selecting the kinematic equation for this problem is not difficult once all your variables are in the angular system. Solve for the unknown and plug in with units. Reread the problem and make sure you have answered the question.